was real scary. Like, it was real scary. I really was um, being a little bit uh, careful because at the end of the day, you got to realize uh, he got power too. So I had to um, be a little bit uh, careful. He was real scary. Uh, he got power. He was real scary. Edwin La Granada de los Santos. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KB with Just Do Boxing back with another video. And y'all already know, man, the room etiquette. If this your first time on the channel, smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. Hit that like button, man. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop all this content. I'm active in these YouTube streets, man. So we're going to get right into it, man. What y'all just seen was a clip. Uh, Edwin De Los Santos, you know, he posted that on his IG, responding to Shakur Stevenson. You know, in a post-fight presser where, you know, he he said, you know, he was heard saying he he was fighting scary, and you know, Edwin De Los Santos went on to respond, and you know, he captioned, you know, the video in his in his IG post by, you know, no fear, like you you've lost already, pretty much saying, you know, he don't fight scary, you know, saying that Shakur Stevenson, you know fight scary if anything that's why you know he played the uh the audio Shakur saying how he fought careful because a guy had power and I think this is interesting man the 135 pound lightweight division just continues to get exciting and and I like this back and forth because I for one I think Edwin De Los Santos is a real uh you know a real um quality fighter you get what I'm saying he's a real threat in at the 135 pound division and um El Rayo, Jose Valenzuela had to find out out the hard way, you know, back in uh, September 4th when they fought, you know, he um he was dropped himself against El Rayo in, in round two. And then he, he came back, man, and, and blitzed El Rayo, you know, dropping him down, dropping him in the second and third round and stopping him. And he got a third round stoppage over a 12 and 0 undefeated rising prospect and Jose, Va Jose Valenzuela, who many thought, you know, was headed in, in the direction of being a future world champion and competing for a title soon, you know, but his plans was halted by Edwin De Los Santos when they fought. And, you know, now Santos is 15 and one with 14 KOs. You know, he suffered just the one defeat earlier in his career, and it was a close, close defeat in which I believe he gassed out at the back half of that fight and he ended up losing a close decision. You know what I'm saying? But it's no doubt in my mind, him and Shakur Stevenson would definitely deliver. I think people would tune in for that fight. And you know, man, Shakur Stevenson been looking for an opponent at 135 to say yes since he announced his arrival. You know, it, he was ordered to fight, you know, Isak Pitbull Cruz. And we all know the story with that. Isak Cruz and his team and his father decided to go in another direction. You know, it was some talks that they were going to fight Edwin De Los Santos as well. But you know, with, with him responding to Shakur Stevenson and Shakur Stevenson still looking for a dance partner. He sent the contract to, uh, you know, Williams and Payton and he hasn't responded yet. So, you know, this guy is just simply waiting for the best fights possible. And he's trying to make his arrival at 135 and, and let everybody know he's here. So I think this fight definitely should happen, especially when a guy entertains, when fighters show that they're willing to face each other. And once he said he's not, you know, Shakur lost already. And is he he shows no fear and things like that. I believe him. I, I I didn't see him fighting scary, you know. But Shakur's a fighter. He might have seen things differently at the end of the day. And I believe with him playing the clip with Shakur saying he had to be careful or you know what I mean or cautious. Yeah, that's that's him because that's the defensive minded fighter in him speaking. You get what I'm saying? And I think that's what makes him great. The, his ability to hit and not get hit. And that's he's the epitome of the sweet science. Is is Shakur Stevenson? So. You know, Edwin De Los Santos, I like the energy. I like the fact that he responded to Shakur Stevenson. I like the little fun that he poked at him. I like the competitive nature that he's showing. And I, for one, I just want to see somebody step to the plate and give Shakur Stevenson a good fight. I want to see him challenge himself against the absolute best. And I'm not trying to say that, you know, Edwin De Los Santos is some world beater. But when you put things in perspective, he only got one loss on his resume, which was a close loss. It was a while back. You know what I'm saying? Now he's 15 to 1, 14 KOs. He stopped El Rio coming off the biggest, you know, winning his career, stopping a big prospect, future, 
world champion, potential future world champion and Jose Valenzuela. So I think this fight would definitely make sense, especially for an entry fight or welcome to the division fight for Shakur Stevenson. You know, Edwin De Los Santos, you know, he brings his own power. He's, he's an athletic guy. You know, he has some speed. You know, he's tough. You know, he showed a, the ability to get dropped and get back up. You know, and he, he definitely has real punching power in both hands. You get what I'm saying? So he has a set of challenges and, and a, a nice skill set of his own that he brings to the table. He's a Dominican fighter, I believe. And, you know, the emergence of the Dominican fighters have been great for the sport of boxing. These dudes have truly been putting on and showing out. And he's just 23 years old. You get what I'm saying? He's 5'8", 70 inch reach. You know what I'm saying? This guy is is the goods, I believe. I think he's a real a real threat. And he's a Southpaw as well. So it would be Southpaw against Southpaw. That would be a very entertaining, interesting matchup. And I would love to see it. But we're going to see how things shake out. We're going to see who steps to the plate first, you know, in terms of Shakur Stevenson. And I, for one, can't wait. I hope this is a fight that can happen if none of these other guys are willing to get in there with Shakur. But that's my thoughts on it, man. Y'all get in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Would y'all want to see this fight? Edwin De Los Santos versus Shakur Stevenson. What y'all think about the video and him poking fun at Shakur? And who y'all got winning? You get what I'm saying? Most importantly, who you got winning? And do you think this is a fight that Shakur should try to pursue, being that the other guys are just not willing to answer the bell and get in the ring with him? You know what I'm saying? And as always, get in the comment section and let me know if I gave Ed Edwin De Los Santos and Shakur Stevenson at Just Do. Because that's what I do over here at Just Do Boxing. To the next one, I'm out, y'all. Peace.